Welcome to my channel. Trời lắm nhau. So mad. I can boss. Chắc là. So ngay yon. Go sa tanatin yung loss of experience. And si simula natin siya. May multiplication do. Um, alamin natin kung may steps ba or may rules ba na dapat sundan. Kung may rules, ano ano yung mga rules na yun or steps na yun para masagutan natin o mag ng tama yung mga yung pagmumultiply ng rational algebraic expressions. Okay? So, let's start. Alamin muna natin itong, ito, itong part na to. This is an example of exponential form. Wherein, yung 5 natin, yan, is our base. <laughs> Small number written on the upper right of the base is the exponent. And ang function ng exponent natin is to tell, or it tells how many times the base is multiplied by itself. So, kung ang exponent natin ay 3, ibig sabihin, tatlong beses mong imumultiply yung base sa sarili niya. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, ito po ay magiging 5 times 5. Okay? Hindi siya 5 times 3. E Doon nagkakamay. Common, mis ano, common mistakes ng mga estudyante. Minumultiply lang nila sa exponent, which is wrong. Dapat sa sarili ay multiply Kung ilang beses, depende sa exponent. So that's, okay, 5 times 5 times 5. So simulan natin, ito na tayo. So in multiplication law, x raised to m times x raised to n is equal to x raised to m plus n. Where x is a real number and m and n are positive integers. So dito sa multiplication law, as you can see, the basis are the same. So, kapag magkaparehas ng variable or yung base, ang gagawin lang natin ay ia-add ang exponents, m plus n. Okay? Example. The given is x cubed and x raised to 7. Tandaan lang itong step na to. The first one is to copy the common base. Common ba ang base nila? Yes. Press x. So, copy the common base x and we add the exponents. 3 plus 7 and the result is 10. Our final answer is x raised to 10. Okay? Simple as that. Next example. Or next case. This is another case. So, if there is a numerical coefficient, um, or there are numerical coefficients greater than 1, so, meron tayong 4 and 5. So, magdagdag lang tayo ng isang step, which is to multiply the numerical. Since multiplication to, para nagmumultiply lang tayo ng dalawang number. Ganun lang yun. So, ang gagawin lang natin, we need multiple numbers or the numerical. We have 4 times 5, the answer is 20. And we see the common base or common variable natin, I letter or variable A, raised to sum of the exponents. I-add po yung exponents. And that's going to be 11. So, ang final answer natin is 20 A raised to 11. Ganun lang. Next case, what example is like this? x squared times 5y raised to 7. So, kung mapapansin nyo, yung variable ay magkaiba. So, gagawin lang natin, ang steps na susundin natin ay, una, we need to multiply pa rin. We need to multiply pa rin the numerical coefficients. Ano bang numerical nito? 1, ito 5. So, 1 times 5, the answer is 5. And then, sabi dito, all the variables with exponents and write it as a single expression. Ibig sabihin lang nun, pagsasamahin lang natin yung mga variables since magkakaiba sila. Kung baga pagdidikitin lang natin. So, meron tayong 5 and then didikit natin sa x squared at saka yung y raised to 7. Dapat alphabetically arranged to ha. Ayan. At yung exponents, hindi natin i-add kasi magkaiba sila. Okay? Na variable. So, let's apply all those ano, cases. So, how are we going to answer this? The given is 5a cubed b squared c raised to 11 multiplied by 2a squared b raised to 7 x raised to 9 multiplied by 3c raised to 6 x raised to 3. Tatlong magkakaibang expression. So, product rule ay ang multiplication law. Unang gagawin, we need to multiply the numerical. So, kunin natin yung mga numerical. Ito, 5, 2, at saka yung 3 natin. So, 5 times 2 times 3, 5 times 3 is 10, 
Mas 3, the answer is 30. Yan. 30 na yung numerical natin sa final answer. And then, pagdikitin natin yung mga pare-parehas na variable. Ang katulad nung A at saka yung A dito. So, magkaparang tayo ng A cubed times A squared. Yan. At yung B naman, okay, times B squared, ito yun. At saka yung B sa kabila ito. Tapos, so, raised to 7. And then, after ng B, yung C naman, C, at saka yung C dito. Ayan. C raised to 11. And C raised to 6. And lastly, we have X variable. Times X raised to 9. Times X cubed. And the, and the order of the variables must be in alphabetical order. Kapag monomial lang yan. So, gagawin natin, i-apply natin yung multiplication law wherein we are going to add exponent. So, dito, uh, magiging A raised to 3 plus 2. And B raised to 2 plus 7. C raised to 11 plus 6. And X raised to 9 plus, plus 3. So, ang final answer natin is 30. Yung numerical natin kanina, A raised to 5. B raised to 9. C raised to 17 and x raised to 12. This is our final answer. Ganun lang siya kasimple. Thank you. Do not forget to subscribe if you are new in my channel.